Well, hello, Mathematic Plumber here, and welcome to my next video where we talk about the combination fan limit. Now, this is an electrical device found in forced air furnaces that measure the, the air traveling through the furnace, not of the exhaust, but of the air that's being warmed up to be delivered to the house, and it'll tell the furnace what it needs to do. So first of all is the fan side. You can actually see it labeled fan there. I may need to show you a close up with this picture. And the other side over here is the limit side. The fan side will turn the blower motor or the blower fan off and on in the furnace. Blower motor only comes on when it's hot enough and then it'll shut itself off again when it's cool enough. The limit though measures the high temperature inside the heat exchanger. If it gets too hot, it'll shut the burner off. So power comes up through here, out through this side right here, which while well, we have terminals coming out, and that will control somehow the gas valve. It'll either turn off the 24 volt transformer or it'll be directly wired in with the gas valve with 24 volts, one or the other. But fan side, safety side for high temperature. So we have three typical settings on a combination fan limit. The fan off is the first little tab here. The fan on is the second tab and the high limit setting. Now let's talk about this in order of operation. What's going to happen? Furnace is off and all of a sudden the thermostat says, Hey, the house is getting cold. Furnace turn on. So main burner starts up. Nothing's happening right now except for the heat exchanger is heating up and eventually it'll get up to, in this case, 140 degrees Fahrenheit and all of a sudden the fan will click on. If everything runs fine, the furnace comes up to temperature, the thermostat is satisfied, it turns the furnace off but the fan continues to run for a bit to cool down the heat exchanger. And when the heat exchanger gets down to my preset of 90 degrees here, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the fan shuts off again. If, however, we have a problem like the blower motor is not working properly or a plugged filter, when we're heating up, we'll get up to my high limit setting, which in this case is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, main burner shuts off, and the fan, if it's working, continues to run to cool down the heat exchanger. And when this gets low enough in its temperature, the burner will kick back on again. So I kind of have a spread out system here. I've got my gas valve, my burner, my, temp my combination fan limit, my transformer, thermostat, and that's my blower motor in the background. Now it's a makeshift assembly just so you can see it. You won't be able to see the, the blower motor operate, but you'll be able to hear it. This little white thing here is actually a summer switch. If I push it in, it turns the fan on. If I pull it back out, the fan shuts off again. So if you're ever working on an older furnace and the furnace fan won't shut off, check this button, it might be pushed in. Now this looks like a total mess of wires. So what we're gonna do is completely ignore everything that's green. That's the control side, just for the thermostat, the limit, and the gas valve. What we're gonna focus on right now is the fan switch. So what I have, is 120 volts coming into my switch and what will be 120 volts coming back out of the switch when the fan is actually calling for heat. So we're gonna just turn up a thermostat which will make our burner fire up. And now I'm gonna directly heat up my combination fan limit which you don't wanna actually do but we're gonna do it anyways. So I'm heating up the temperature probe which is this bimetal coil back here. You'll see it's going very quickly. It's because it's in the flame. It doesn't do that in real life. All right. So we've gotten to my fan on setting, which is set at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, generally fan on is set between 120 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna simulate a problem. We're gonna go into high limit very quickly, apparently. We went into high limit really fast because it was directly exposed to flame. 
Our high limit setting is at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but that generally ranges between 200 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see there though, we, we cooled down and the burner came back on. Now I'm not gonna stick it back in the flame, but what we're gonna do is turn our thermostat off, pretend that the furnace or house has been satisfied for heat. And now just to speed things up a little bit, I'm gonna use my fan to cool this down because I can. There we go. I cooled down to my fan off temperature and now we shut down. Fan off temperature is generally between 90 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's talk about the, the wiring of the limit side. What I have here is 24 volts coming from my transformer over to my thermostat, which is a switch. Connected in series is another wire that goes up to my limit. And of course, both of these are switches here. So through the other side of the limit switch, I've got another wire still connected in series, which heads off to the gas valve. And this other wire is just going to the other side of the transformer. That's all it is. So what happens here is when this gets too hot, it interrupts the electricity going to the gas valve, so it shuts off. The other way it could be wired is I could actually have 120 volts going right to here. So this would be nothing to do with the thermostat whatsoever. 120 volts comes into here and it goes off to power that transformer. I'm not gonna wire that up for you, but that is the other way. Well, hello, this is Kelly from VoiceOver Land, and yes, this is the end of the video, but stay tuned for the next one because we are going to talk about gas trains. Until then, have a great day.